Hey guys, Chris Superfast RC, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at these, what they're called bat boxes. So basically, what it is, is it is a safety measure for charging your lithium batteries. It's gonna be a lot better than a solution like this. I mean, these are okay, but um, they're not gonna really save the surface as much. And uh, you know, I don't know if I'd want to charge one of these inside my house. I had, you know, I've done it for years like that. But, um, you know, getting older, a little bit more wiser, a little less crazy, you know, and uh, you do reading and you hear horror stories and you just don't want to have an accident, especially in your home. So basically what I've gone and done is I've got acquired these bat safes and basically what they do is it's like an ammo can, but it's got insulation on each side of it and vents on the top. And it's just basically an insulated box. It's like an inch thick. So the heat and whatever happens in here is not going to get transferred to the outside as much as what a regular bag would do or not having it in a box or a bag at all, which is definitely reckless. But uh, they also serve as a great storage place for your lithium batteries. Not cheap. They run about 60 bucks a piece. These are the mid-sized ones. They have a small one. And they have a large XL one, uh, but um, yeah. What they also do is they give you this nice pass through here, right here, this little doodad, allows you to pass your balance leads and your power lead through the box. And they also give you a mount for your charger, which makes it really nice. So you can just kind of set your charger up there. And uh, we're gonna throw a battery in here. I've got a 3S5000 or 5500. Go ahead and plug that in. Make sure my leads are in the correct spots. They are. Definitely want to make sure everything is correct. I'll go ahead and close that up. And uh, go ahead and hit start. So, while we're charging now, it's going to provide a safe place in if something were to happen to the battery, it were to expand or explode or whatever it does, these, it has a filter in here, I guess it's like a fiberglass, that's gonna kind of filter out some of the soot and some of the black nastiness that you don't want to breathe or get out all over your house out. So it's just gonna be more of a clear smoke. But uh, yeah, it's just supposed to be a safe place to charge your battery, store your batteries, and uh, Definitely a nice thing to have. So I'll probably get a couple more of these just because I have a lot of batteries. And I'm sure y'all do too. But um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, they do have a limit on there. Uh, I think it's like, let's see, I have it right here. Um, 220 watt hours. So it basically says do not charge or store more than two 6S 5000 milliamp hour lithium batteries in there at the same time or you will overrate the limit. So, uh, yeah, definitely a cool product. I've seen it work. You can see videos on it YouTube of it working. Uh, I don't want to see it work, preferably, but um, if it does, uh, it's nice to have. And it, like I said, I'm charging on a non-flammable surface anyways, but you know, if something were to happen while well, I wasn't here, or, you know, let's take these out of here. I want to show you something else, one last feature of them. So, if you've got one battery in there, it also has this handle, like a strap, so you can carry it around wherever you're going. It's got nice feet on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, there's not much else to it. So, I like it. I think it's going to be a good safety feature. Nice insurance to have around, just in case something were to happen it's there instead of not having it and needing it later. And, and I've got a bunch of batteries that I need to get rid of anyways that are old, that really don't perform well anymore. And uh, it's a nice place to store those until I'm able to get those discharged and off and on their way. So now let's go ahead and check, see what's happening here. Now we're charging. Let's just disregard that. This is a really old charger, uh, but it still does fine for me. For those of you that don't know, this is a FMA Direct Cell Pro 10S. It's probably 15 years old by now. 
and uh, it still charges all my batteries fine lithium only of course with this particular charger but uh, yeah it's just a charger powered balance just charger and it'll do up to 10s and it's a 100 watt limit so your 4s e-buggy battery or 4s anything really is not a challenge for it and that's why i keep it around and it's pretty smart it senses basically how big the battery is and what kind of amperage it needs to put into the cell it does charge up to 3c and it'll do that no matter what uh, i have it programmed to do that and the programming no longer supports windows 10 so kind of a one trick pony now so it charges 3s for me or 3c i'm sorry 3c as you can see there and uh i really can't control that but it, it's very safe in its way it does it so it kind of makes sure that the cells are all ready for the the amperage and then it'll ramp up. See, right now it's kind of low. But um, yeah, these bat safes, pretty cool little device. And uh, I definitely recommend you check them out. Be safe when you charge your lithium batteries and store them, obviously. Uh, like I said, I've been not safe in the past and been lucky. So I don't want to push my luck anymore. Anyways, guys, this has been Chris Superfast RC. And this has been the bat safe. And you can get them at A-Main. You can get them on Amazon, I think. Uh, pretty much anywhere online. Uh, your local hobby shop might have them as well, so you might check with them first or if, if they can definitely get them for you if you, they don't have them in stock. So, uh, Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.